These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belt. No bag for journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff. For the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that time. Amen. God bless each and one of you. Welcome. Um, this video is going to be about when Jesus sends out us, his people, the Christ followers, the fishermen of Christ, when when Christ sends us out to do his work. It means God is going to prepare us, and the part I meant to not bring out the extra things, it was because God enough had already planned everything, so everything was already in the sands. And not to bring anything else, because God already knew how he wanted it. And, you know, we're always worrying and everything. But we got to know that God is all that we need. In our time of trouble, in our time of need, God is there. So we could grab onto his hand for help. God says for us not to trust the man. But when God sends us out, we forget one thing, the love of God. Another thing we forget is it's not about us, but it's rather for the glory of Christ. And that's one thing I think us Christians are really forgetting. We're also forgetting to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. You know, we have to tell them the love of Jesus, how he died on the cross for all of our sins. But also tell them that he's coming back and to get ready and repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. I think this is a thing a lot of us Christians are making a really big problem out of. Another thing is probably how we talk and how we act. And also, the altar is not just any place that you just to stand on. That's an altar, a holy place where you stand and give the word of God. When, you're, when you and God, you know, are right and good and you're not committing sin, you can stand on the altar. But the altar is a holy place that a lot of people play around with and they don't know how serious God takes things like that. Another thing is, we have to go spread the word that Christ is coming back and how much he loves us and how he's warning us to get right with him. For the door is open right now, but there will be a day that that door will be shut and a lot of people will be knocking and the door won't be open. Friends and sisters, let's spread the word now because God wants us to spread the word now. The time is now to spread the word. Friends and sisters, let's share the word of God. Let's share the love of God and let's share Christ is coming back. And he wants everyone to get ready and know about this, this beautiful man that's coming back to pick up his people. How much he loves us. How much his grace and mercy paid off of that cross. And how he's coming back and he wants everyone to be there. Brothers and sisters, let's keep praying and let's keep growing in God spiritually. So that chains can be broken. Amen. God bless each and one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.